on the previous episode. A great, great, great 92 overall Ghost of Madden. Just basically run. It was, it's never going to be, I'm never going to have that luck again. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Episode 110 of the No Money Spent. We got some squad updates. I'm going to show you kind of an investment binder update. And we're going to cap it off with the first weekend league game of the weekend, of course. But before we do that, we're actually going to hop in and check out the new LTDs we are getting tomorrow in really in anything they're in rerolls they'll be in packs till monday morning jonathan allen now the highest rated defensive tackle in the game 96 power move at 96 block shed 79 speed i love this card he did have a 90 bow sphere you're gonna have to get that card it might be a little expensive jalen hurts 96 overall scrambler so power up to 97 he will get escape artist and gunslinger so he'll be the second or the third quarterback apart from tim tebow and derrick henry to get that combo but i will say if you're worried about your your Derrick Henry investments, I promise he's not going anywhere because in order to get Jalen Hurts as a gunslinger, as a skate artist, you need his power up and you're going to need his 90 overall blitz. His 90 overall blitz right now, you're going to see, I'm going to refresh, it's actually going to be up for 250,000 coins and his power up is not even on, on the auction house at all. So it's going to be significantly more expensive to get the power up Jalen Hurts, get the 90 overall blitz Jalen Hurts just to power him up and get the same abilities as the quarterback Derrick Henry. So don't worry about your quarterback Derrick Henry investments. This is actually not going to affect it at all because Jalen Hurts is going to be probably, a, even though his LTD will be 280k combined, it'll probably be like a 500, 600k card. So let's hop right in though and go to the squad updates because we didn't really add too much. We did pick up and we picked up just the four LTDs. Derrick Henry quarterback, we still do have Tim Tebow because we don't really need to sell him off. And then Ricky Williams, AP and Ricky Williams this weekend are going to be fighting for that starting job. Don't, but both don't have the receiving back. I might pick up Walter Payne before I play some more weekend league games. I haven't checked his price out in a minute, but that's the offense going into the defensive side of the ball. Again, not that much change. Marlon Humphrey is going to take over for Cordero Patterson as the slot cornerback. Cordero is still on the team. He's at the kick and punt returner spot. And then we're going to add Isaiah Simmons to the strong or the backup. You would say backup strong safety, but he does play in game. So Ted Hendricks will be my user. My two deep safeties are Calvin and Isaiah Simmons. They both will have mid zone KO and Acrobat. And then since I run 335 normal, audible down to 335 wide, I do play some other safeties. So Cam Chancellor does get in the game at left outside linebacker. And then at right outside linebacker, I just rock Micah Parsons. So that's kind of how my defense lines up. And of course, 3D line and then the two, the three corners. So that's really my defense. Rocking 25 at 25 Niners. We do have the strat cards. Plus two speed on all our wide receivers. Plus two speed on all of our DBs. Seahawks offense, multiple defense, and the Ghost of Madden strategy item. If you're curious about how I got my team to 97 overall, this is it. Hopefully Jonathan Allen. Being up to a 97 overall, I don't think he'll get a get to a 98. On the way to 98 overall, but I'm probably going to have to wait until the playoff promo to do that. Hopping into our investment updates, kind of just going through our binder. You're going to notice not that much in terms of core elites. We're, fi we're finishing off selling off Marlon Humphrey, and he really hasn't gone up in price. And it's just, I think it's just due to the 85, 86 overall power up pass. There's a lot more now in the game with season two. He hasn't really gone up. He went up originally from 10 to 12K to 20K, but he didn't go from that like 15 range to 30K range that I originally thought. I'm just going to settle. I'm going to take my 7, 8K profit after tax on Marlon Humphrey, sell him off for 19.9, 20-ish K. Had about 15 of him, only five remaining. But yeah, not a lot of stuff in the binder. The market is so high. I'm kind of just waiting for this market crash after zero chill to kind of pick up my playoff investments. The only cards I am holding, though, and we talked about this yesterday, the Campus Heroes. Hopefully, Javon Curse and Reggie White, one of those two, get a legend this weekend. That would be some nice coins added. But yeah, the majority of our investments and in our coins, the only thing I'm really buying over the next week, and it's why I'm buying so many since I don't have any other obligations to buy like playoff investments. I could just sink all my coins into LTDs. Right now, I currently have 47 Derrick Henrys, 46, or yeah, 47 Derrick Henrys in total, 46 as investments. Of course, the one that is in my team. I want to say I have like 14, 13 Marlon Humphreys. I've been buying him for for under 282K. I buy Ricky Williams for under 280,000. I'm still planning on buying a whole lot more. I want to get down to like the 10 mil range. And then Isaiah Simmons, I want to say I have exactly 29 Isaiah Simmons, 30 if you count the one that is in my team. But we actually go and see just kind of a, like how, what's the profit looking like for Derrick Henry. Right now, he's currently going for 360,000 coins. Of course, bought 46 on an average of about 297K sold. I sell him right now for 360K. I'd be making about 27K per card. And so right now, if I were to sell Derrick Henry 
this instance, I'd be making about 1.2 mil off our 46 Derrick Henrys. That's not included the Isaiah Simmons. That's not including all the other LTDs, Marlon Humphrey, Ricky Williams. And that's not even taking into account that Derrick Henry will probably get upwards of 400K. I do think, however, Derrick Henry probably gets a little, he gets, he's going to get stuck at 400,000 coins. Cause that's where a lot of people are going to look to sell off their Derrick Henry. So I think once you get past that wave, or once we get past that wave of 400K for Derrick Henry, I think you should be able to get into the 425s, 450s. And that's when I'm going to sell off. I wanted to get about 75 to 100K profit off of him hopping into the team update and like the the ability update as we go into this game i'm currently rocking two wide receiver apprentices in Devonte adams and Deion sanders running back adrian peterson with backfield master and then you know the superman combo gunslinger escape artist 8 ap on derrick henry defensively i always like to put mid zone ko and acrobat on my two deep safeties that being isaiah simmons and calvin johnson i have patrick peterson and i believe patrick peterson i haven't added on oh no marlon Humphrey does not have any abilities Patrick Peterson has Acrobat, and then Richard Sherman, I've kind of juiced out his card a little bit. I have Acrobat, Midstone KO, and Pick Specialist, and of course, Cam Chancellor is going to have out my way for free, and then Ted Hendricks, my user, have Acrobat. You always want to have Acrobat on your user if it's a safety. If you use a linebacker, you want to have Lurker. Those are the two, really Lurker and Acrobat, but either way, great, great cards. Ted Hendricks, my favorite user in the game right now. We're going to match up, though, with Red Sox man i think that's his name i can't really see in the top right doesn't have the best overall team he's probably a no money spent person himself but we're gonna go right away we're gonna have to right into things fourth and one michael vick gonna roll out to the right throw right over ted hendrick's head it's, this, this entire game is will ted hendrick jump for the ball and i actually have something to mention i had a banger of a gameplay i got on stream last weekend with tim tebow a great 21 to 6 comeback when i didn't have the ball and i i went to go edit and it was gonna be the end of this gameplay where this gameplay was right now and the footage got corrupted so i kind of had to actually go into this game at right i was in the middle of editing i'm like shit i don't have a gameplay so i had to hop into the first week in the game and i just kind of prayed that this game wouldn't be too bad and luckily for our opponent or luckily for me our opponent was not the worst even though he had a budget squad he's going to come right away score a touchdown a bunch of hitches a bunch of check downs with michael vick but you know our offense we like to just just throw absolute nukes and derrick henry's going to hit the clear out was running a little bit of cover too for the most part so i just threw the wide side streak route pass lead it out and up to the left and devin hester is going to get in the end zone tied up seven seven to seven we're now going to come out on defense and i had a feeling he was going to give me an interception or two but michael vick running just you know basic quick slants i don't know where my right side or my right side purple was but that's whatever but now on first and ten he's flipping his formation i've got dynamics we're going to send a little bit of pressure my responsibility my sole responsibility in this play call is the middle of the field and head hendricks this time is going to jump that wasn't even to the, the shallow drag that was to the crossing route about 15 yards behind ted hendricks really goes to show that six seven height i think is really really important over a guy like cam chancellor or isaiah simmons with six four i've heard some people say cam chancellor still feels a little bit quicker and faster in terms of agility change of direction but i personally like ted hendricks and then derrick henry we don't need to talk about derrick henry flood concept to the right because he was sticking in that cover two defense Devontae adams able to get the feet in bounds and derrick henry even though we're getting jalen hurts we have tim tebow the problem is is Derrick Henry is going to be the best quarterback in the game for a long time, and it's because of one thing. It's his release. He's got the Aaron Rodgers release, and it's just, it's basically gunslinger on steroids. It's probably twice as fast as a normal gunslinger throwing motion, but now our opponent, fourth and 10, and he's going to check down with his running back. Micah Parsons, I believe that is in coverage in a yellow zone, is able to make the tackle. Second down and 10. T right there. That is exactly why Derrick Henry is going to be the best quarterback in the game for a long time, and I think the Madden community is going to be sick. Uh, hopefully, EA releases. Well, we are probably going to be getting an Aaron Rodgers MVP card, and that will probably be when Derrick Henry gets dethroned as the best quarterback in the game. But, I mean, I've been playing with Derrick Henry. I probably played about 20. If you want to count house rules, probably 35 games. I don't think I have an inaccurate pass with Derrick Henry, even though his medium throw accuracy is really, really bad at, like, 86 something really really bad but our opponent man he he didn't go out he didn't go down without a fight kyle pitts and i'm gonna miss this tackle with pat pete so just like that you know it's 21 14 a one possession game he started to come out and just run prevent he was tired of giving away the bombs with derrick henry we're gonna roll out to the left we had a guy open over the middle of the field i'm gonna come back to that but you know it's the season of giving we're gonna give him an interception with ronnie lott second down and two now michael vick still under single back and basically the same interception ted Hendrix is gonna jump about 25 feet in there we're gonna get tackled but now with 18 seconds left we get the ball to start the second half this is huge to get a touchdown we're gonna go back to that flood concept he was still sticking in the prevent but it was more like cover two prevent 
Gonna look to hit the seam routes with either my running back or tight end. Whichever one he chooses, I'm gonna go to the other. Doesn't choose any of them. We're gonna hit Vernon Davis. I think Vernon Davis, by the way, is the best tight end over Kyle Pitts. He's significantly better. I think he gets the best animations when it comes to aggressive catches, kind of just like boxing out the opponent. Love me some Vernon Davis. But Derek Henry, now this was the this was the backbreaker, man. 28-14, or one of the first plays out of half. He's still running prevent, but doesn't stop the deep post to Devin Hester. And that's going to be all for our opponent. So we're going to start out Weekend League 1 and 0. And if you want to see the rest of the games, we're going to run them all weekend. I think for the first time, I'm going to try to go for top 100 again. Play all 25 Weekend League games. I haven't done it in about two or three months. We're going to be starting our first probably seven to eight games tonight on stream. Twitch.tv slash IJobrew. And we're going to be live probably, I think, around 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So 10.30. Might go live at 7. It's depending on when I when I'm when I'm eating tonight, I always like to eat before I stream. But yeah, that is gonna be all for this episode. Sorry, man. The gameplay with Tim Tebow was an awesome one. We won pretty much on a miracle. It's a great gameplay. I'm really mad. I don't actually. Get to, I want to rewatch that footage and just see, rewatch the gameplay because it was that that good. But that's gonna be all for episode 110 of the No Money Spent. We don't really have that much content tomorrow except for LTD. So I think I don't know what I'm gonna do for content wise tomorrow, but we'll we'll find some we'll find something to do. So end of this episode. So comment, like, subscribe, of course. Join the Discord. Link, as always, is in the description. And until hopefully I see you guys all in the stream. Peace.